Hey guys, Silence here here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Masters with me. So today, since it's the launch of the brand new event, alongside with Hilbert's Scout, we're gonna try tackling the co-op mode for this current water type event. Uh, hopefully you guys have probably gotten good um, selections of Pokemon, uh, rather water type Pokemon and their trainers. So here is uh, my team that I'm going with, it's pretty much similar to what my rock type team is going to be or it's going to be for like most of the elemental type um, teams that I will probably be going with. So as you can tell, I have not tried tackling the uh, very hard mode yet, which is one of the criteria that you must clear, um, basically beating the um, the trainers within the very hard difficulty and of course uh, if you want to claim all the rewards from the uh, water element type um, what you call it? Uh, rewards? Missions! Missions! Yeah that was the term I'm looking for so okay so this is the team I'm going with because um, well they actually have the best attacks and probably skills to go with each other um, yeah so like in my Hilbert scout video I promoted Liza uh, quite a bit and she is definitely one of the support trainers that you definitely want um, to have around so as you can tell Liza well I've maxed out her level but um, she's currently capped at level 5 from level 75 for me I don't have the resources to uncap her yet but I'm slowly working towards it but it's okay level 75 is pretty good for her right now so most of your team members have to be around level 70 in order to handle the highest difficulty of each of the element events um, I would say not so stressfully because <laughs> I Definitely have gone through um, quite a bit of hell with the rock type event um, Considering that I came into the game slightly later than intended I was about four, one week one week late into the game's launch period So it's, it's uh, quite stressful when you have to you know clear all the missions uh, of course claim all the wonderful re rewards you can exchange for in the uh, store exchange so yeah so let's go with this team setup i'll explain along the way as we try to beat them hopefully we do so it really depends on your other party members as well as you can tell i'm the only character with a support uh, you know at the start everyone goes offensive which is likely to be because everybody is just power greedy and they have no strategy when it comes to play kind of uh, majority of my teammates are like that uh, when it came to handling the rock type event of course the, the leaf, uh, leaf type event grass type event as well so yeah so as you can tell I'm going straight with the defense because you know um, print pit club a uh, print clip club <laughs> uh, Prim Club and Napoleon are pretty water so everybody needs defense because the opponent's team is a really high offense kind of as you can see as he takes 18 damage only I don't know why but you can tell that yeah the, the teammates aren't doing a lot of damage so that's kind of worrying so I'm gonna pump up their stats as high as I can, hopefully. Oh god, things are not looking good. So, yeah, we don't really have a lot of um, high offensive water Pokemon right now. Oh god, I don't think this team will make it through just from the feeling of things. So, I'm gonna do my best. Thank you for the full heal. Okay, I'm gonna do my best to try and support them. I'm gonna have to activate that unity bonus. Here we go. Hopefully, Empoleon goes before Infinite. 
Oh no. Oh no. Please don't die, guys. So, I wish people would start off with, you know, a much more offensive single hitter rather than Empoleon. I mean, you could use Empoleon, but don't use his first attack. Yeah, this is definitely way better. Um, oh god, we are definitely going to lose because now none of the Pokemon in the front have my defense boost. That's just horrendous. So, sometimes when you end up with terrible teammates uh, and you foresee that you won't be winning, I would highly recommend you to just exit the game uh, or rather this battle and then uh, reconnect for teammates as usual. Why am I not switching out? Because yeah, apparently I'm being targeted. So I don't want my offensive Pokemons to end up dying uh, once they get switched out. So play strategically. If you're being targeted and you can see that there's this red ring below your Pokemon, um, play with a defensive Pokemon. Don't do silly things. Yeah, ow. Okay, it should switch to another target soon. So the pattern for the game so far, in, in terms of this um, type bosses, well, after doing two hits to you, they will switch to another opponent. There we go, they switch. So yeah, make use of this strategy. And of course, um, plan out your team well. And of course, go super offensive on them if you can. So I'm gonna go Bubble Beam. Since I have enough energy to dish out some damage. Nice! So apparently, <laughs> we're still doing okay. But if you, if you happen to see like two or three of your, your team's Pokemon get knocked out like, like so, I'm the only one left, or rather all of us are left with our last Pokemon. What in the world is Lycanroc doing inside here? So, I'm not being targeted yet, I can still do a charge, but I'm a bit worried about uh, Infinite's um, AoE attacks, which can hit other Pokemon uh, aside from the one they're targeting, so that's quite worrying. Okay, oh no, oh no. So, yeah, that's it for me. Alright, I'm returning the Pokemon Center because there's no way in hell that that fella is going to survive. <laughs> so, let's try this again. This is just showing you um, my experience, you know, handling this event types and of course giving you the kind of uh, strategy that you might want to consider, you know, uh, considering that most people will just go in with offensive Pokemon and hopefully the first Pokemon that sent up, they can really dish out damage. So that's why Lunatone is there to help boost defense at the same time as boost their offense so they can knock out the main boss Pokemon which is Infernape this time round. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys find this strategy useful and of course uh, it depends on your team as well. I just hope that all of you don't end up implementing this strategy and then I'll end up finding myself with a team of uh, trainers that all use uh, support Pokemon at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, like a double-edged sword thing. It's really situational. Uh, but yeah, it will be pretty hilarious <laughs> if it does happen. So I just have to exit the battle <laughs> and rejoin again. Alright, so let's see what Rock does to decide. Okay, he goes with a stat boost. I'll do a stat boost as well. I just want to do the uh, sync together with them. So I don't want to waste the move. There we go, he goes for the stone edge. So I'll go with my psychic. Hey, not too bad. Oh, lucky. So Gator has got away with it. Alright, let's do this. We'll get our bonus. Yeah! Ow! Kinda. It's 
not exactly the most amount of damage we've seen. Or rather, I've seen. I've seen like, thanks to my stat boost, Lycan Rocks can do almost 2,000 worth of damage with one stone match. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, we're gonna help with the reducing of the energy requirement for the unity attack. Hopefully I don't die. We did get our full defense stat boost. Ow! Okay, everybody's still alive, that's good. So yeah, so hopefully this strategy works well with you guys as well. So it definitely will help in clearing the mission where you need to battle 10 of these very hard stages and win. Okay, let's see whether we can actually win this one. I could actually switch out right now, if I want to. Yeah, I'm gonna switch out. There we go. Close combat. Oh no. Bye-bye to Lycanroc. So I have no idea how these people switch out and are still able to use the next Pokemon's move. I've been trying to figure out how to do it. Oh no, I have some connection for me. But yeah, it, it doesn't seem to happen for me. I have to manually switch them out. And then I have to choose their moves later on. So I really have no idea how these guys do it. Huh. Yeah, Infinite is almost dead. So let's go for it. We're gonna go with a sync move. Hopefully we are able to knock him out. This team is really doing well. Right. Huh. Oh, so close. Ow. Ooh. One hit KO. Dang. Okay, Lunacone ain't useful for this, but they're still targeting me, so I'm just going to. Die. <laughs> or rather faint. Uh, Pokemon don't die. Kind of. They are ghastly out there, so I don't know. Alright, let's go back to charging again since I'm not being targeted anymore. Nice! Infinite is gone. We should be able to back this up. Alright, almost done. Let's go with the bubble. Just in case we can knock him out. Ah, uh, he targeted him. So that's the problem when people don't... Um, or rather I didn't read his move. <laughs> I should have seen what move he used, but I couldn't tell who he was targeting. I don't know. Maybe maybe because I wasn't paying attention to the direction that Friday Gator was um, facing. But anyways, yeah. We should be good. Oh wow. Ooh, I almost died. That was close. Thank goodness for crit clubs uh thick defense. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. I am on my last Pokemon. Oh. There we go. Okay, can we do this? Oh so close! Hey, there we go. Nice. And on the second try, we managed to defeat the very hard difficulty. Fantastic. So I have nine more to go to clear the missions. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, all this information uh, on team building and um, considering your moves and your strategies um, when it comes to playing with other people online uh, hopefully all this has been you know um, useful as always let me know by hitting that like button down below and of course good luck to you guys when it comes to clearing the very hard boss and hopefully enough you guys are able to claim all those wonderful rewards within the missions itself and of course as usual if you have not subscribed to the channel, why not hit, subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in the next Pokemon Masters tutorial video. Until then, bye!